95 Honda Accord, got a no start situation going on. Look right in the middle. When I turn the ignition on, normally the check engine light lights up and I can hear the fuel pump prime right away. And then after the fuel pump primes, the check engine light goes off. But what I have is a delay in that check engine light and a delay in the fuel pump priming. So here goes the ignition. See the delay. All right, I can hear the fuel pump prime. Runs for just a split second and then shuts off. Let me try it again. All right, that was a little quicker. But it still shuts off. Try it one more time. Nope. Now, I have had a similar situation in the past and it was not the fuel pump, it was a bad computer. Now, my 95 Accord, just like many older Hondas, the computer's located up front underneath the carpet on the passenger side. And you'll need a deep set 10 millimeter socket with an extension to get that computer out. I still have the computer hooked up that we had the no start with a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna try it again, just so you can see. All right, no start. Now, going to swap out computers, going to turn the camera. I am not disconnecting the battery. A lot of people say you should when you swap out computers. I never have in this car and I've never had an issue. And I have another video that I'll put a link to at the end of this video that will show you in more detail how to get to these computers and how to take them out. So, plugging in this one. Come on, baby. All right, let me walk back around. Here we go, hopefully she will start and that will tell us that the issue most definitely was the computer. Primed right away. Now, let me keep it going. Let me put that other computer back in. Stay with me. Sometimes you wonder about people's videos and people may wonder about my videos that maybe you kind of set stuff up just to make things seem like you want them to seem. But I'm gonna show you. All right, the one that it just started with is out. The no start is back in. Oh, let me just reach across and do it. All right, we got nothing. Oh, lost my light. All right, you get the picture. She's been idling for about 15 minutes and no issues whatsoever. So the no start was caused by a bad computer. Now let me get the new one installed and we'll take the covers off that old one and see if we can see anything obviously wrong. So here's a computer out of the car, the one that gave us the no start condition. I have the covers taken off on each side and on each side there are five Phillips head screws. So those have to be removed. Now on this side of the computer with the cover off, you see hundreds if not thousands of soldered joints. And what we're looking for is one that seems like it is fried out or burnt out. We're looking for something like this. See right there where that soldered joint is kind of dark, like it's burned out. And if you flip the computer over right on the other side, there's a fried out capacitor. You can see where it ruptured and leaked out its fluid onto the circuit board. This computer I actually did not pay for. I found it in a salvage yard. I brought it up to the front desk and asked them if I could have it. And they said, yeah, it was no good to them. So my thought was to possibly one day try and repair this to replace that capacitor, but maybe that will be a future video. But that is what we're looking for when you inspect a computer for damage. That's a good example. But back to this one, the one 
one that gave us the no start condition today. No obvious signs of damage on either side. But as you saw and heard, the engine would start and run for just a split second and then shut off. So obviously something's wrong with this. Just like something's wrong with this one, this is the fried capacitor we saw. With this one, the fuel pump would not prime, so the car wouldn't start. This one gave me trouble code 13, which is a failed barometric pressure sensor. That sensor is located inside the computer. A trouble code 13 will make you think that your transmission is going bad, but it's actually your computer. This is the original computer for my car. This gave me a no start when it was hot in the interior of the car. I have a video for that as well. Another video for this one. This gave me trouble code 14, which is a bad ECU. And now the most recent one, the one from the video today. Day, car would start and then immediately stall. So computer failures are the reason that I always keep a good computer. Even though it's used, it's a good computer. I keep one of these in my car at all times. I also keep a good main relay. The main relay helps to control power to your fuel injectors. And if this goes bad, the engine will turn over, but it will not start. I have a video related to this as well. So there will be links popping up to the videos that I have related to computers in my 95 Honda Accord. And my advice to you with this 27 year old car, if you're having an issue and you can't figure it out, if your car won't start, if it's not the starter, if it's not the fuel injectors, if it's not the fuel pump, suspect that your car's computer has failed. That's why when mine started and immediately stalled, my first suspicion was the computer and I was correct. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.